Eugel Adger is an international law analyst at the think tank CETA and a professor of international law at a university in Ankara. He joins us now from the Turkish capital. Uh, Prof, this deal has only been in place for quite a short time, but do you think it's been a success so far? Um, I think it's a great success. First of all, I have to emphasize that, you know, you know, at the very beginning, we just assumed that the war would not take so much time. Uh, unfortunately, it's over six, almost six months and the war is going on. And we discovered that there are very serious effects of war between Ukraine and Russia, especially in, in energy and also more importantly on, on food. Uh, around the world. So uh, there were many, you know, impediments to the safe export of food from Russia and Ukraine because of the war. But one of them, actually, the, the serious one was, uh, uh, you know, the mines and blockade by Russia and Ukraine in Black Sea. So almost over 20 million tons of grain stuck in the ports. So it's uh, actually the only hope for international community to get enough food for reasonable prices around the world. That's why it's quite, quite a significant achievement. And this deal obviously benefits Ukraine and the rest of the world in trying to avert that global food crisis. But is it also working because this deal also allows Russia to export its own goods, especially fertilizers, to the rest of the world? Uh, from the legal point, I have to first of all emphasize that both Russia and Ukraine have no right to block the civilian stuff, especially if, the, if it is a fundamental stuff for humanitarian needs. But unfortunately, from the very beginning of the war, uh, you know, Black Sea became a very dangerous place for commercial ships. That's why the food export almost stuck completely. Uh, this is the only deal that opens the door for national actually to get, uh, you know, uh, enough uh, food. Uh, the, at, at the moment, the worry is about whether this agreement would be impl implemented effectively by, especially by Russia, because, you know, Russia has a very strong uh, military presence in the Black Sea. Uh, I think the, one of the guarantees for the agreement to work for the future is actually because it covers the export uh, from Russia, the food and the fertilizers as well. So for many Russian companies, uh, you know, it's it means also the get rid of some of the effects of the, you know, uh, you know, economic embargoes uh, and, uh, implemented by Western countries against Russia. So these two elements, you know, Russia is benefiting from this agreement. It's a very you know, significant guarantee for the agreement to, to be implemented for a long time. Uh, of course, as far as the war continues, there is always a risk if uh, Ukraine gets some successes against Russia in the military field. Uh, it's just worrying that maybe this agreement would be in danger again. Uh, and luckily, we have such an agreement brokered by, especially by Turkey, uh, for, a, for a long time of efforts, maybe more than four months, that it also covers the export from Russia. Huchel Archer, live to us there from Ankara. Really appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.